Hello and welcome to this DeWalt DCB094 review and test. We're going to show you what this little USB charger and power supply unit can do with its 100 watt power delivery socket. It's a unique unit on the market at the moment. You can connect it to a DeWalt battery and you can use it to either charge that battery from a, a, a USB power delivery charger or you can use it to work as if it was a charger to power something like a laptop or a mobile phone or actually a host of other things up to 100 watts. So here we go, we're going to put it to the test, show you what it can do and possible uses you might have for it. So first of all, the obligatory unboxing, because that's what you've got to do on a YouTube review of a product. You've got to unbox it and you know destroy that joy of unboxing things for yourself. This is the GB unit, Great Britain. And so it has a slightly different plug socket to the rest of the world. Uh, first of all, let's have a look inside. What have we got here? Some cardboard. We have some things to hang it on a shop shelf. We have a belt clip, uh, which I'm going to just gloss over because I don't see the point of it myself. But you could walk around with it on your belt all day showing off. Look at my new DCB094. Here is the charge cable. The charge cable is rated at 5 amps, 100 watts. At, that's 5 amps at 20 volts. And it's also a data cable, in case you're wondering, you can use it to transfer data. This is the massive, massive charger, uh, rated here in the UK and Europe at 100 watts. The USA one is only 65, for some reason. And this is the actual unit, the DCB094. The hyphen K means kit, meaning it comes with a cable charger and I guess the belt clip probably comes with it if they ever sell it separately as well. Uh, and you can see here it conforms to lots of things. Um, which is good. We we don't want it catching fire. No. And this is the instruction manual, uh, which is just basically plug it in. Um, and the warranty, which appears to only be one year here in the United Kingdom. Or Great Britain. We like to go by both. And there's a bit of cardboard in there as well. I don't know. You might use that for something. You never know. Anyway, onto that charge brick. 100 watts, it's 100 watts. Now, I don't quite get the size of this because I already have a 100 watt charger. And it's this size. Also, it has two ports on it, so you can charge two things at the same time. Power delivery, PD. I don't quite get it. Look how much smaller that is. And I, I bought that over a year ago. So, I don't know why it's so big. Maybe it's a safety issue, maybe it's a cost issue. I don't know. That's, to give you an idea, that's a MacBook 65 watt charger. So, yeah, I mean, I suppose it's bigger than that, but look at the look at that one I've got there. Ch Ch Chow Tech, what's that? I don't know. Uh, but this is the great one. This is an Anchor, Anchor, I said Anchor, 65 watt Nano 2 charger. And look at that compared to the Apple one. It's so much smaller, and look at it compared to the DeVolt one. How many of those could you fit into the same space? Um, that's my favorite charger. Just if you're in the USA, it's even smaller look because you have tiny little pins on your chart. Yeah, look, because it's only 110 volts, 120 volts, 120 volts. It's it's about an inch by an inch by an inch. Right? It's really small uh, and that's great for carrying around with you. Now let's compare the DCB94 to its older uh, model, which is the Z DCB090. And um, it's about the same size. Um, it actually kind of looks and feels smaller, so it's slightly smaller. And of course, the old one only had two USB-A sockets, and they're rated only at 1.5 amps across both sockets. So even from when that came out, that was pretty poor. Whereas this, the USB-A is rated at 2.4 amps, which is about 15 watts. And then of course, the power delivery, as it says there, 100 watts in and out. You can charge a battery and you can use a battery. It's bi-directional. But yeah, much, much better unit. Um, the other one, I don't know why, I mean, at the time, 2.4 amps was a thing, that it, but it never did it. Uh, you, the old one slid on. You didn't need to press the button on the battery. The new one clips on. but And it had a, a, a charge gauge. You don't need that on all the batteries now. They all pretty much have, all the ones I've bought have all got a charge gauge on. So you don't really need that. It's a pointless feature. Uh, you can see I've got a lot of DeWalt batteries and a lot of DeWalt tools. So I'm not just in this from the tech point of view. Here's one of my FlexVolt tools. It's a nine inch concrete cutter. And you can take that battery out. And oh yeah, they're 54 volt. They're also 18 volt or 20 volt if you're in the USA. Same difference, they're the same battery. They're just different marketing. 
and you can take that battery and you can charge it up in one of their fast chargers. They do a fan, a fan cooled fast charger. Um, and then you can take that battery out of the charger and you can use that in this as a power. It's to deliver power to something like a laptop or a phone. And you can do that down the pub. If you're in a beer garden, you can take your FlexVolt battery, you can show off to all the people, look, I've got a 9 amp hour, or they even do up to a 15 amp hour uh, FlexVolt battery currently. Look, I can sit here for several days on my laptop. <laughs> or you can be on a building site. Uh, you can see here I'm doing some coding on the building site rather than looking at plans or things like that. This building site is actually my house, uh, <laughs> and this is currently what I'm living in. Um, which is great fun. Um, and this is when you need tools like this. There's no power socket. I took them all off the wall. No packs. Just thought we'd see what it was like inside the pub as well as in the beer garden because it's not waterproof, but it wasn't raining. Um, but, you know, you might want to see what it's like inside. Another use would be if you're charging something like a drone. You're in the middle of nowhere. You've got no power. You've drained all those little batteries and you want to charge them all up. It will do a fantastic job of charging those up. What a great piece of kit. And... You might go to another pub after that, maybe. And I can confirm it does continue working in another pub. You can charge your phone at the same time as your laptop. I mean, obviously, you can charge your phone normally off your laptop, but it charges it quicker from its second port, its USB-A. And you might then go down the park. And you might be like, right, I still need to charge my laptop. But well, it's fully charged already, but because I've done no work and I've just been drinking beer, but I want to keep it absolutely topped up to the max and then you might return to the beer another beer garden in another, in another, another bar and we, we we really thought we'd we'd put this to the test because look see here we're doing some work look we're editing the video and um drinking beer i mean that's what it's about and then you might go to another pub as well um obviously i think this is the main use for this device because uh, they don't always, pubs don't always have, you know, sockets that you can plug into. And quite frankly, you know, you should use your own electricity. Now, another use for it, and this is a, a really, a really useful, important one. Uh, although Dewalt do have a charger that plugs into a socket, it's quite expensive. This is a 30 watt rated anchor. <coughs> Again, anchor. I said anchor. Um, uh, cigarette cigar lighter uh, adapter that gives you a, a 30 watt power delivery. There are other ones in the market. I've seen them up to 100, um, but I trust Anchor as a brand, so I've only got this 30 watt. I think Anchor might do a 60 watt one now, but you can see here, look, it's charging the battery in your car. So if you're a builder or something going site to site, great, you can charge your batteries up in the car. You can see there as well, it's not kicking out. I've got this little gauge, it's kicking out almost 20 volts at 1.5 amps so yeah about 30 watts um here we go this is a very useful thing i've not got one i'm gonna get one this is a 100 watt rated solar panel array you can see it's about a foot wide by half a foot if you're uh, in america um and this outputs usb-c so you could charge a battery up from the sun on a building site that's got limited power or you don't want to start a generator up you could have this and you could be charging up your DeWalt batteries. Or it might just be, you have to run a really long cable or something. Whereas this, you just unfold it. If, if it's a sunny day and that's outputting 100 watts, that's gonna charge the battery up as quick as it will off the mains. So, absolutely great to have that as, a, as an option. Uh, and they're about $50, so they're not even that expensive. Now, I wanted to test how quickly it will charge up a battery and, and that it does output 100, you know, will accept that 100 watts. Uh, I didn't, if you actually put a battery that's fully charged it, or nearly charged it, it actually slows down the charge rate so I had to discharge it in the heat gun first and then I put my little gauge on it and it's, it's with the actual 100, 100 watt adapter and you can see here look it's 20 volts 4.745 amps going up slightly it increases as time goes on that's that's 100 watts almost you know five times 20 there we go and here's a here's a chart from the instruction manual and you can actually see here that with a five amp hour battery which i was using there it charges it faster than their normal kit mains charger which is the dcb 115 it actually charges up that five amp hour battery in 65 minutes rather than 75 it's actually faster that's amazing now you see if to press the button to de to unclip it but I'm just going to show you, this is my favorite battery for carrying around. If you've got it with a laptop, it's the DCB189. And it's a 4 amp hour 
um, battery, as opposed to, this is what I'm using most of my tools, is a 5 amp hour, but it's a lot chunkier. And to fit that in your laptop bag, it's quite bulky. So that's not what, it's what I'd use in most tools, but for powering a laptop, I use the other one. It's slim. It's got slim cells in it. And it's a bit lighter as well. That 4 amp hour battery will charge up a MacBook Pro, a 13 inch MacBook Pro. My one's rate is a 50 watt hour battery. Well, that battery is rated at 70, about 75, 70 watt hours. So it will give you a full charge and then some. Now, a 9 amp hour battery like this one, FlexFault, it works with that. You can charge from that. You can charge it, as I'm just demonstrating here. That, well, that you'll get many charges, you know, you know, at least four charges of a MacBook Pro from from that, I would say. Um, so really good. Um, I say at least four, at least three. We'll go with three. Uh, you get some loss, you know, heat loss when you're charging between these things and through the electronics. So, um, yeah, no, not, not four, three, you get three <laughs> and you might get two out of a five amp hour, but not quite. Of course, when you discharge a, a battery in a laptop, you, it never completely drains it. Otherwise it would kill the battery. For our American viewers here, that's a 20 volt one, the same difference, but in Europe, they've never brought this in. This is an eight amp hour, 20 volt battery. That's lighter weight than, a, than the nine amp hour flex volts. They also even do a 10 amp hour in, in the USA. Um, but they've never brought it to Europe for whatever reason. Um, but I find quite useful. I bought that on a trip to the USA. Uh, and you can see that I'm just testing out the little meter just to show it's charging. It's charging uh, the laptop up that's connected to. But that's my favorite one, the, the four pound. You can see all these together. If you're not a DeWalt person, look at all these different batteries. You can buy different shapes, different sizes, different weights. There's a lot of options. Now, the thing is, it's coming to the market soon. They've got these other batteries that don't use cylindrical cells, these flat cells that you get in a laptop or a mobile phone. And rumoured to be coming in October is this one. It's a 5 amp hour power stack, it's branded. And so it's flat cells. And these are rumoured to last longer, be more powerful, um, but also a lot smaller and lighter. So when that comes out, that will be the one to get, because you'll get at least two charges, I would have thought, pretty much, for something like a MacBook Pro. Here we are showing it. Look, it's charging up from that 100 watt uh, adapter. I'm going to just show you with the anchor, <clears throat> anchor, 65 watt charger. Um, you can see the flashing light. It changes depending how quickly it's charging. It's a little bit slower from the 65 watt, but still, I've actually used it. I've charged up a battery from flat. It's pretty quick. You know, you'll do it in hour and a half, something like that. You know, you'll charge up a battery from flat. A five amp hour battery from flat so that it, it's a lot more portable and certainly if that's what's in your laptop bag you don't want to be lugging around that massive brick from dewalt that's great for like under your desk or something but i don't want that i don't i don't want to be carrying that around with me it's just too bulky especially with its uk three pins poking out um but just just to show you as well here um this is a amazon basic usb this is only, I think, five watts, right? It's a really basic, just normal charger you'd get with, this comes with like an Amazon Fire Stick or something like that. Will it work with one of those? Or does it only work with power delivery? Wow, to my surprise, look, you plug it in, you obviously need a cable that goes to USB-C, but look, you see how it's blinking slowly? Yeah, it will charge you to volt battery from any USB power source. That's really cool. I really like that as a feature. It means you could use it literally anywhere with anything I'll just show you again the speed difference when you plug it into the 65 watt charger much quicker blinking much faster and obviously that's the fastest is with 100 watt I, I don't know how many people can use it as a charger but it's there but that, that's if you wanted a more compact one you can get them those are my favorites that little tiny one inch by one inch anchor <clears throat> anchor charger that one that's it that's what you want you want that one and that that's what i'd get in an ideal world if you're carrying it around with you in your laptop bag or even on a building site really because it's so small 
Now, I'm going to show you it using it with a MacBook Pro. So this is normally comes with a 65 watt charger. And I found out that's what it, all it can take through its USB-C ports. It has four USB-C ports. And coming from that as a USB power source, look, you can see it's running there three times. It's around 60, 60 watts of draining. I, I purposely put something that taxes the processors and I've made sure that the laptop is drained. So it's trying to charge the battery and it's running the processors at full pelt. And yeah, it, it's it's doing it. I mean, it's charging it. Now I tried it with a 15 inch, I got a 15 inch Dell, a 2017 XPS 15, which has one USB-C port on it. And to my surprise, it warned me that I was only plugging in a 65 watt adapter, which it's rated at 100 watts. And I was surprised at this. I was like, ah, is there something odd? Because I've got nothing that will drain 100 watts. That was the, I thought I did. I thought I had this. And you can see that it recommends a 130 watt power adapter, which it comes with a barrel port, traditional barrel port adapter. Well, it turns out even when you connect the 100 watt, which I definitely know can do a 100 watt adapter because I've put the measurement, the gauge on it, uh, even under a stress test, that can only actually draw, look, 20 volts, 3 amps, so you're up to about 63 watts there. Its maximum input is 65 watts. Now, you might be saying, hey, I don't have an expensive MacBook Pro, Dell, whatever. I don't have a USB-C laptop. Right? I'm not upgraded yet. I've got an old laptop. Well, of course, I have an old laptop too. You know, I've got loads of old laptops. Here is an old Lenovo. It's a bit of a cult laptop, the X230. This is 10 years old. USB-C power delivery didn't exist then. It wasn't a thing, right? It's got USB 3 connections on, but there's no way of charging it from those. All it has is a sort of its own proprietary barrel port. And that's it. Well, can I use this? You're thinking, no, this is useless to me. It's no better than charging my phone up. What's the point of spending the money on this? Well, those clever Chinese people, they have produced a USB-C to many different barrel ports. So you just need to type in on something like AliExpress, what your laptop is and USB-C, and you will find one of these. They're about $5 as well. And look, it's charging it. Now, I mean, there's no warranty with this. <laughs> you do so at your own risk, but hey, it's a 10 year old laptop. I don't really care. And I've been using it with this and it works fine. I'm using it a lot. Uh, and it's great. This is the sort of thing you want on a building site. You don't want a MacBook Pro on a building site because you know, you die if someone dropped a brick on it or something or a piece of two by four. Um, now, one thing I did wonder, can you use it as a UPS unit, could you connect a charger to your laptop and connect this and then it would charge that when it was full and not, no, it doesn't work. It only wants to work in one direction. However, you can connect a USB-A to something like this MacBook and it will give it 12.5 watts of power and it's not under heavy load. Yeah, it will work as an UPS unit. Look, it's charging the battery and outputting to the laptop at the same time. Okay, that's the end of our review and test of the DeWalt DCB094. If you've enjoyed watching this, please hit the subscribe button.